Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this low poly Pikachu uploaded by Flowalistic. First things first, we're going to go down to the developer notes, see if they have any specifications. And they say that they used a 0.2 millimeter layer height and that this is designed to not need any support material, so no supports. And keeping all that in mind, we're then going to go up here to the download all files and we're going to get a folder similar to this. Now there's only one STL, so simply click and hold on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice. Give it a few seconds to load up. Once the model is finished loading up, you should see this low poly Pikachu. So we're going to take the step by step and first select a layer height or a profile. So go up here and the developer recommends a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. You can go finer if you want, but uh, 0.2 should be more than fine. Next, we're going to go down to supports and we're going to make sure that that is unchecked. Now, this doesn't need support. There's not a lot of red anywhere, so you should be more than fine. So make sure, like I said, that's unchecked. And lastly, build plate adhesion. There's quite a bit of contact area in the bottom, so you really don't need it. But if you have troubles with adhesion and stuff sticking to your bed, then I would recommend switching skirt over to brim. But that's only if you have bad adhesion. And other than that, you are set. All you have to do now is click on the blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once the model is finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 1 hour and 13 minutes, but that will depend on your printer and the settings that you selected, as well as the estimated filament usage of 8 grams. Now you always preview the print by clicking the preview button, and take a look around, see if anything weird or funky is going on, and everything looks perfectly normal, so all you have to do now is save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the model straight off the build plate. Everything came out pretty good and there are no defects whatsoever. If you want, it is now ready to paint, so paint your heart out and do whatever you want with your new little low poly Pikachu.